Hello everybody, how are you? Today we are going to talk about multiplication and division. About it. 100, 1000. And how we solve any problems. First, what if your teacher gives you this example? 246 divided by 10. We must put point after one digit. By left hand, here. 24.6. The result will be 24.6. So if you want to divide it by 10, you must put the point in the first and move it to the left hand side and write the point. And what if the chart gives this example again but divided by 100? You must move in the point to left hand side by two digits because 100 have to zero. So we will put this number 246 at the point after two digit one two and put here the result will be 2.46 and what about the example 246 divided by 1000 the result will be point here because we will write two four six and moving to left hand side one two three point and we write zero here and what about 2462 divided by or times by 10 we will put 0 here and this digits the result will be 24620 what about the decimal number what if your teacher gives you this is the decimal number 24.62 in hundreds and he want to times by 10 if you want to find the result you must move in the point by left hand side or hand side you must move in the point to right hand side we will write 2 4 6 2 write the number without point and moving the point here by right hand side because 10 have 1 0 the point will go into here the result will be 246.2 and what about this example again 24.62 but divided by 10 if you want to find the result by divided by 10 you must moving the point by left hand side here the point moving here we write to point four and six two okay it's very easy and what about this example 2463 divided by 100 it should it's such that this example but we have four digits and three digits no it's very easy it was two four skisticity yes you will put point after two digit one two and put the point here with moving the point by two digit where point we can point here right but here i'm moving here this point and write this 24 points 63 okay in hundreds and what about four thousand six hundred twenty four and this point here 46 point two four divided by ten what was the result? We can find the result by moving the point by left hand side one digit. So this point will go in here. Four point six two four. Okay. What about it? Zero point six two four times one hundred. We will move in point by two hand side to right hand side okay one two because we find this by times we're moving point to her we will write six two point four and what about zero we canceled it because we can't find the result here okay it's not meaning if you write zero it's not meaning you find the result 62.4 Okay, it's very easy so if you want to find the result by times 100 you must move in the points to right hand side by two digits 
And what about this? This number such as that 0.624, but you find the result by divided 100. It's very easy, not to panic. You must move by left hand side by two digit. The point we're going here, one, two, so we we'll write zero another here. Because we have we have ended with zero, we have one zero here. We'll put zero here, okay? We're moving point from this place to this place. Right, point and zero and double zero here, six, two and four. It's very easy for you. Okay, another example. Six, seven, six point two four divided by one thousand. It's very easy. We will moving by left hand side by two steps or three. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. We will moving point from this place to this place. We write zero point six seven. Six and two four. It's very easy for you. So if we want to find the result by one thousand, we will move in the decimal three digits to right. Moving the decimal two digits right by times one hundred. Moving the decimal one digit to right by ten. But if you want to find the result by divided, you will must moving the point to left hand side by divided ten. Moving the decimal one digit to left by uh, divided 100, move the decimal two digit to left by divided 1000, move the decimal three digit to the left. 